Oh, I love it. I just love the back of this page. And um, okay, so I made again a little um, closure and, and then a little uh, waterfall. And it's not an ordinary waterfall, but I mixed it a little, moved it a little up. So yeah, what do you think? I like it. I like it. And then you can close this down with this little string. Cool. Ah yeah. And um, and then the booklet I also made and used just simple paper, not do anything uh, fancy about it. Inside I will keep it plain for the for as it for the end when it's done. And then add a little, um, um, a little bow on it, so you can close it down. Okay, and then that's that. It's actually pretty simple, but yeah, that's always what I'm going to say. So yes, we are going to make it in the blue one, so stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Let's start. First, we are going to measure up, of course, the correct size. I'm going to use this paper. That's the other side, of course, than this one. Okay, let's cut it up. And then we go to the waterfalls. That's not true. We feel going to smooch the edges. Here we go. Let's check. Check, check, check. Yep, that is correct. Okay, let's move this along. And then we are going to uh, make four photo uh, mats first and they are three by six and that is let me just cut two I believe I mentioned that already in in yeah, I did. I did mention that. That well for those who did not. That's seven and a half or three inches, and that's well ten, ten centimeters or four inches. Okay, so I need four of these. So I'm just going to cut two more. There we go. I have four. Okay, let's move this just for a second. Okay, four photo mats. Now go to your leftover piece pieces and just see which one is suitable. Hey. Are this ones and this piece? Nope, it isn't. Okay, so I grabbed four leftovers, and now we can. Uh, which size do we need? Well, it's not that important. Okay, so now I'm just gluing these on my leftover pieces. And we are just going to make photo mats without measuring. Just how I like it. So I'm just going to glue this down on the pieces that I have. Not using good papers, just using your scraps. Um, 
and this one. Oh, the other way. And the last one. I'm in a good mood today. I don't know. I like today. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to cut this piece off, and this you don't have to cut because we do need that. Oh, I can cut it. You know. Okay, so we have one. And two. And three. And four. And of course, this one is just a little too long, so I'm just going to cut it down. And this one, yeah, let's cut this down too. Too long is not good, and too short is also not good. It's not handy. Let's cut this down too. Alright, so now we are having this. Now I'm just using my scoreboard. And we are going to make a score line, but please leave a bit open. If you fold this, then you still have an edge. I'll show you. If you fold this, you still have that little edge. Well, but I'm going to fold it to the photo mat side but I just wanted to show you okay so how easy is this creating these waterfall photo mats it is easy easy peasy oops stay in your line girl all right so let's fold these and I'm going to fold these to the photo mats here we are okay so now we have four photo mats ah, how easy is that okay let's start with the first one okay the first one I add it in the right corner see on the right side okay I'm just going to eyeball it again dun, 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 dun. making two marks and then just cut it okay I'm just cut these corners away, slide this in the opening till it's till the end where your fold line is bumping to your cut opening and then seal this closed and put a piece of tape on. That's that. That was the first one. How easy is that? Now grabbing the next one. And the next one I'm going to add same whiteness as this one all to the left. And then just, yeah, I'm just going to eyeball it. It does not have to be any measuring. It's just eyeball it and it will be perfect. Don't move. Don't move. You don't want this to be not correctly straight, but it's not that it needed on the millimeter on perfectly. Again, cutting these corners off. It will move so much better in till the end. Hold it, 
we pin it down and add some glue and some double sided tape here we are okay the third one is going to be under and then slide it just on the place you like and I like it just a little to here to the white side so you see I'm just going to eyeball it where if this is lined up straight then you can move it and I'm going to open these And then I'm going to make two marks and cut in that paper. How easy is it? It's so easy. Again, I'm just going to cut these corners off. You don't have to do that, but I just do because I like it. It's so much fun and easy easy going okay close this up hold it turn it and secure it and again put some tape on that opening okay last one underneath and again, I'm just going to eyeball where I want it. So, yeah, I think this is a good spot. So, I'm going to turn it, keep this down, open it, make a mark, and cut it down. Here we go. Again, cutting these corners, slide this in till the fold line. Keep it in place. And put some tape on. It is. It is that simple. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Um, first I'm going to make that little piece. You can uh, make that with your um, template if you want to use exactly the same. Um, I'm going to search for a noise piece. Oh, I do have a little one right here I can use. And let me see, the smallest one was one and a half. So let's see if I can cut that down to one and a half. But I use that on the pink one too. And now this is too short, but <laughs> I just slide this in and then I'm going to turn it. And I do have some um, marks made here so I can see where I need to cut is that clever or what <laughs> it is because now here I can hold it down and I can cut small pieces for just these little tags I want to use okay that's just a tip see perfectly okay let's smooch this up Here we go. 
now I can start with my design paper on here. Um, but first let me see what I can use for that little closure. Um, let's see, we can use a balloon if we want, but let's check, let's check, 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 let's check what we have more. Because of course we have more to use. Okay, let's see. Mm. This one is also very nice. What shall we use for this piece? Um, well, a bear is also nice to use. It will fit with these. Or the blocks. Hmm, what shall we do? Or the airplane. Well, it's a pretty big one, but... What can we use? What can we use? Mm -mm -mm -mm. We can use the bear. Shall we use the bear? Why not? Mm, I really like that tag. I don't want to cut it. Okay. Help me out. Help me, help me out. I'm going to use the blocks. I love the dark brown in it that comes back with this piece. So it pops up a bit more. I'm just going to use it. Alright, so let's grab a piece of cardstock. You don't have to exactly cut it out twice. You can, but no need. Just going to put it down. Make sure it stays on that chipboard. Cut it out. Just using a little edge. See if I can cut nice straight lines. I don't know. Just going to see if that works. I want to keep it this clean possible mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hey and then she's quiet it's quiet for you guys too <laughs> you want me to be quiet I don't know if you want me to Flies everywhere, but I want these as. Yep, here it goes. Okay, now I really like to smooch the edges a bit so it's more neat. See, we can make our own embellishments. Oh my gosh, really easy. Okay, that's good. Good, 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 good. Now see where, well I'm just going to point in the middle, a little hole, and then I'm just going to, where shall we make this? I don't want this to be here, I want this to the side, as it will be in the playground. So I'm just going to add a nice hole, and then put the board in. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Is that easy or what? It is that easy. Here we go. 
Okay, um, now I'm going to add some design papers on here and then the string. Cool. Okay, what shall we add? Um, where are my leftovers? Okay, let me see. This is a leftover and this one. Let's see if I have. No. No, these are. I did, I did one, <laughs> I did one um, patchwork thing, I did not, I don't know if you saw me doing that, but I did one, and so I used, oh, I used this one, oh, yeah, so we're going to do that too, um, I used two pieces of these, and this is a scrap, squ uh, leftover piece, just, and this also, so we are just going to see which one but i see we used this piece so let's use that too i want it i want this the little um, seam so i'm just going to cut this down and cut this in the right spot And then we're going to smooch this. Okay, that's one. Okay, for the second one, we're going to turn this. So we have the back of the balloon. Page. Switch it up. Okay, now the third one was <laughs> the mix. A mix up so let's see um, this one will fit yeah this one too we have lots of little ones that still be fitting so I'm just going to see well we have enough actually yeah we have a longer one and then for the rest they are too short I don't have that much blue but that's okay. Well, this will fit also. So I'm just going to see and I'll be back in one second. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have here. How we do this. Well, of course, same as always. Cutting the first one. Second one. back of this one too let's see if this one fits oh it does so let's cut these in half the scrap queen way <laughs> yep here we are we can use that side of this side um, yeah, I don't know. Where can we start? Let's start with this piece. I'm just going to start and see where it ends. So, I'm just going to start with this one. I always like this brown one, so it's hard for me to cover that up. Just love it. Oops. pushing these to each other so it almost looks like it's meant to be one piece okay so now I'm all ready to this over the half of it okay let's 
Let's use this one too. Let's cut a new one. Fold it in half. To use the balloons. Then we can use the the dots again. We can, and then we only need one more. And let's see. Okay, oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. We do have one more piece which we can use. First, I'm going to cut this at the right size. And then. Cut this down to the piece where it's needed. Here we go. And that is how I do it. This is how I do it. And like I always said, if you don't like this, then just skip it and use your full um, design paper. But you know me, I just love it. I just love it once in a while to let that patchwork come back. Cool. <laughs> okay, so now for the last one, what shall we use? Hmm. We can have used this or, well, this is not... Hmm. I can use this, but I don't want that. This is also... A nice one can make a brown one at the bottom, but I don't want too. I want to, don't want to use too much um, scrap. I think I'm gonna use this one. I think that I did if just two. Oh my gosh! I just used a few Dutch words. Oh my goodness, I'm distracted. <laughs> or I am just in my comfort zone completely. Sometimes, sometimes I'm so zen, so in the mood of doing this. Oh, what what side do we use? This one? The brown one? Yeah, the brown one. I love the brown one. All right. Let's go do this. Um, let's attach this one. Hello, mother. Hello, son, my dear, <laughs> my darling. That's way too much English, English accent. Not good, not good, not good at all. Okay, so let's grab some of that twine. Well, it, I don't think it's cold twine, but... I am yeah, I'm calling it twine. Let's attach the first piece. Make a knob. How was work? Dirty. Mm. <laughs> Was er een aster? Nee, nee. We zijn al lang even. Ach, 
Okay. Oh, then we are going to grab a few of these beads. Oh, and then we go and oh my, here isn't yes, isn't any hole in it. No, it isn't. Ooh. What is isn't? Oh. A miss beat. Oh, oh, oh. This one is good. This one isn't. There is just no hole in it. Oh my goodness. We can use that. No, we can't. We can't use that. Okay, let's see. How much do we want? Well, I don't want to overdo it. So let's make a knob here at the bottom. I think right here is enough. Oh, well, it can be a little shorter. Okay, let's make another knob. Here we go. Cutting it down, and there you have it. Two. Yeah, I like it. Could have been a bit shorter, but better too long than too short. That's also not nice. But this could be, let's see if I can make it a little shorter. Let's make another one. Oh my, and then it's quiet in the house. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, it was quiet in my house. Yes, it was. But normally, when my girl's alone at home, then it's it's no trouble at all. She is completely doing her own stuff, not having uh, noisy music on or whatever. But if my son is home, well, I keep reminding him that he needs to be a little more quiet. But hey, that's just a boy. I think that's just a boy thing. That it's not that particularly his kind of a thing. Who's be in his silence. Silence. But anyway, now they are totally gone. And I'm all alone. No, I'm not alone. I'm with you guys. I'm not feeling alone. I never feel alone. I don't know why that is, but I am... A homey girl. I always like being home and I always have that. I'm an only child because perhaps that is the cause that I, I like to be at home. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think being an only child is the reason that I like to be alone at home. I don't know. I believe people who have a big family is also uh, perhaps being glad to be home. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just babbling with you. <laughs> I'm just chit chatting. Chit chatting. Okay. Alright. So this page looks amazing in my um, opinion. I really like this. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So now we are going to do the booklet. And yeah, it's really easy, but let's do this together, as promised. <laughs> okay, so what's we needed? We need this image and a full sheet of this piece of paper. And first I'm going to cut this way. And we make a mark right away for this size. Okay, that's one. Now cutting the other part. It's 
smooch it up. Oh, I can tell you what I did last weekend. I did not only chill and did nothing. No, I remember now. <laughs> I did some try out what to do with all that fabric you will find in your kit. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. You can do so much nice stuff with only these little strips. You can. And, um, and of course we are going to get to that part, but I just want to show you, tell you that I did that this weekend. And I know I, I, I already uh, used some of that um, earlier. Not earlier, but uh, on my YouTube channel. Oops. How much is needed for a bow? I really don't know. Let's say something like this. Something like this. And um, now we can glue this down, this paper. But really, you can do so much with uh, fabric. Oh my gosh, you can. I even could have used it on uh, these paper, but I did not because I still do not know how it ends uh, with um, the papers and the, um, the place that is needed to put the pages on, but we can embellish it later, of course. So I will keep in mind that we have enough space to use all that stuff. Well, not all, of course, but I promise you, you do not need all that <laughs> fabric I sent to you, but it's, it was just because it can. I found it and I thought, yeah, this looks amazing. So that is why I bought it for you and made these fabric sets with this kit. But I'm going to show you what you can do with all that fabric. It's so nice to do. Let's cut these. And of course the inside, I will keep it plain. Waiting to decide what to do with it on the end. Okay, so that's that. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. So this is being needed in here. Cool. What do you think? Isn't this amazing? I love it. I am just always so proud of myself. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Loving it. What do you think? Oops, oopsie, 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 oopsie. I love it. So cool. Alright, so the only thing we need to do on this page is the front. Yes. Okay. What shall we do on the front? Ooh, let's think about that and then join me for the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hey, good morning everybody. Um, welcome back to the next part. Um, okay, so I did create the front of our second base page. And um, yeah, let's see what I did. So there is a ribbon closure on here. And I made two of these little things. They are not very much being showed after this ribbon closure, but there is, and um, it's a waterfall thing. I also did with a wedding album and uh, a little bit, so I tried to do another one. Um, so this is the front, and you can add a nice name on here, or a date, or anything you like. Writing down here, um, I made three different um, waterfall photomat things. Um, so it will be a little playful. So you open this up and the back I leave it plain. Here I used a leftover piece for the papers. We really like it. So I layered 
these are actually three layers so there is the cardstock and there is that uh, book page and there is a white edge and then a design paper so actually there are three four layers so they are really, really nice thick and the back of course you can put a nice photo on then we have a, a bit smaller one and only uh, used uh, some white um, photo mat and then the back is plain and then pretty much the same but only with a brown dark edge all the way around and then in the middle I used the last uh, picture card from the sheets and that is how it closes all down uh, oh yeah I always start with the left lift 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 okay okay so that is what we are going to do today and I already prepared just a little so it speeds up a little for the tutorial so uh, it's hard to make a loop with two with two loops with two strings but hey here we go uh, but I really like how this turns out and I really like that you see a bit for these uh, photo mats and it's a little fish great I don't know how you call this but I really like it I could have done it a little bit more but I do not know if I then have enough space for the inside so I would I will do <clears throat> the tutorial exactly the same because that is how it worked for me so okay um, let's get started okay so I did a little preparation I cut out all my things and first we are going to start with choosing a design paper which fits on the front page and I choose the this one with the hearts really nice plain papers so okay so what we're going to need first is making the the waterfall of course so I'm just going to move these for a second um, okay so let's start with the with the measurements for the photo mat if you want to use exactly the same um, then just start with the white I started with the white and from there on you can create your waterfall exactly the same so these are the measurements of the photo mats the white white photo mats I used so write it down so they are 14 by 9 centimeters 13 by 8 centimeters and 12 by 7 centimeters so I I each time made it one centimeter smaller as you see and I made the um, the measurements from the inches also but then a half inch smaller each time so it's a little millimeter difference from the centimeters but it's no big deal it will fit perfectly because this one is uh, yeah almost the same so it's five and a half by three and a half inch five by three inch and four and a half by two and a half inch and then you have almost the same size as in centimeters okay so these are the measurements for the white for the white um, cardstock so first I'm going to make the um, the waterfall together with you so I only cut these but I did not glue them down yet because I'm going to do that together with you of course I only cut um, the papers so first of all grab some um, book page if you have if you want again with a little edge and then I'm just going to glue this down too we have some place to make a flippity flop 
Mm, right here. Oh, it could be a little less. I want a little less. Here we go. This is better. Okay, and then just fold it down. And there we go. Yes, got a nice edge. Okay, that's step one. And let's grab another one. Just going to do this together with you. I know you don't have cut this before. So I'm just staying with you and you can skip this part of course. But if you want to do this together with me then we are going to do that. Okay, just, I'm just going to layer my first photo frame waterfall. not need to be perfectly well at least I want to say it's this the size is not um, is not that important okay so the second one is only with white but of course you can do anything you like I don't know if you are using an extra edge then if it will fit after you are done but you can always see I'm going to show you in a minute how you can check if it will fit I'm going to show you that in a minute I'm just going to make this waterfall finished How it went. Oh, it did not go on the floor. It did get in my, um, what do you call this? Ikea um, troller. How do you call this? Um, <laughs> it was a, oh my god. It's from Ikea and it had wheels. And I call that a stowage. Holly? I don't know. Gosh, I am always terrible and I guess I guess you are going to help me with that, but it's not that important. But anyway, I have such thing with wheels besides me that gives me the opportunity to grab fast some things that I needed sometimes. Like my um, heating tool or a tissue paper and my trash basket that's also right against me not right right by my side really easy so it's really easy so you can move it around and let's put a lot of storage in it some ribbon is in there which be is also really handy if it's white by your side anything and you see those so much on youtube in craft rooms they are really really handy um, and i have to say i have one original ikea and i have two from my dollar store uh, yeah i call it the dollar store so you know it's a cheap store and here in holland they call it the action so I have three in the meantime. Really handy. They are um, sitting right here under my table. And if I need something, I can pull them out. It's so handy. It's really handier than if I have a cabinet under my table. Because now I can move it out. Perfect. <laughs> and they were not that expensive. Okay. So now we have one large one. 
and a middle large one so now we can check I'm going to show you how we can check if it fits so I'm going to layer these just as the same size I would use for a photo frame like this see this each time you have a layer now grab a big, big or small, it's no, or a clam. I'm going to use a big um, paper clip. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side. And that's just to see if it fits. It's just a check up. Let's check it up. <laughs> Let's check it up. I'm going to layer this and then the larger one. Just going to, yep, here it goes. Yeah, you see, also nice layer. And you have each, each time another color actually. Okay, so. Put a safety pen on, not the safety pen, the paper clip on. Now grab your paper and now you can see if it fits. So, don't move. So grab it. And the meaning is that there is one on the left corner, keeping some space. And the other one, of course, same here, on here. Here. Oh wait, just a second. This one needs to go in this corner, of course. Oh. Okay. Here we go. This one needs to go in this corner. And um, I want to keep these same height, like a centimeter or a half inch. It's totally up to you what you want. So now I can see that these are away from this so that fits there is no bumping anywhere so this will fit and if we, if we are cutting these in then we can make that left white left white left white so that is fittable okay so let's get started <laughs> okay so let's start with the first one let's move these Move the clip, start with the first one. Like I said, in a white corner. Just leaving this a little open. Make a little mark. And I'm staying with you the whole process, so don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Then we're going to cut. And I'm going to cut just a little angle away so you can move this in really easy and then fold it you can burnish this a little bit more down and then keep it secure flip it over now I really like using my arc little glue because it's drying really fast. Oh, I really like this. And then I am going to secure this opening gap with some tape. That's it. Okay guys, that's done. Now I'm going to turn my paper and grabbing the next big one. And this we are going to do exactly the same. Just going to line this up. Same as here. Using my eyes to eyeball it. But you can measure if you don't trust your eyes. Making two marks. And then we're going to cut.
cut a little corner away. And when we are at the end, we can flip it over, secure it, and put some tape on the gap. See, it's so easy. It is easy. Flip it back. Okay. That's the start. Grab the second one. Now comes a little tricky. Well, it's not that tricky, but it is just a little. <laughs> okay, next thing what we're going to do. Oh, of course, put your um, flippity flop to the correct side. That's this way. Now we are going to put this down like we just did to practice and we're just going to and now I really like using my picker to put this on the white spot because it's a little tricky and now I think, yep, I think I'm correct with this nice white edge all the way around so it's on its place now of course I have long nails but you can use your picker <laughs> to keep it steady on its place that's that make marks and cut away yes it's that easy but you just have to you, you don't wash this thing you, I never wash anything, but you just keep focusing and stay calm. Oh, see, I always like to cut these things away. Then they move so much easier in like that. And then you can wiggle all to the end. And you just wrap it around. And I'm just fold this back in. That's easier to flip this over. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! And use your tape. Alright. That's that. Let's go to the other side. Grab the next one. Do the exact same thing. Oh, that was <laughs> moved in one spot. Oh my gosh. Flip it over. Holding it. Oh, did I move it? No, I did not move. There, you did not move. I feel like I'm moving, but I am. But I haven't. I'm just checking. <laughs> See, I did, I did move it just a little. Just a little higher. Yep. Yeah, this is what I like. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's keep your patience. <laughs> you want to cut your opening on the right spot, of course. You don't want to wash things so you don't have a clean cut. Here we go. Cut a little angle away. And of course you can see if you're good. And you are good. Yep, perfect. Keep it steady. Flip it. There you go. Okay, so let's go to the next one. 
the smallest one. So keep your hinge to the good side. Place it. Oops, it's already there. Make your mark. Get set. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> Oh, it's almost a military thing. Get set on your place, on your mark. I don't know exactly what they say, but. <laughs> oh, I did not cut all the way. Perhaps it's better that I, that I replaced the knife. My battle does that. Let's move one away. Here we go. Ooh. That feels right away much better. Here we go. Check. Check, check, check. Perfecto mundo. Flip it. Secure it. And place some tape over it. Okay, guys, we go to the last one. Check. Oh, let's cut right away this. Good. Hold it. Keep it steady and make your mark. Okay. Oh yeah. This cuts very very smooth. How is it? You it? it? Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Slide it in, check, check, check. Feel good, good to go. And it is. Flip it over. Okay, let's seal this. And then it's done. And we can go to some of the decoration. Oh, let's turn this over. Okay, so let's see. We have left, right, left, right, left, right. Cool. And then you see that step kind of a thing here with just little steps right here in these corners. I love it. Yeah, I really love it. And with that dark brown in it, it gives, you see, you see there, that there is something underneath like it okay so let's grab some design and make it prettier than it already is <laughs> okay let's see i used this card for here and i cut the round edge off so it will fit on this white now before i'm going to attach that i am going to attach this um this piece right here. I want this to be equal. So I'm just going to place this first down. I'm just going to eyeball it. It does not have to be perfect, but you can eyeball this. So I'm first going to apply this piece and then I'm going to apply my little card and I really love these images these are just amazing they just are really really vintage I have to stop with that really 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 sound Chinese some say <laughs> okay 
Okay, so that's that. And um, first I'm going to cut. Uh, I use this one. And I think I'm going to use it again for this piece right here. I used that on the pink one too. So I'm just going to use it again. Oh, but I don't want to cut the feet off. So I'm just going to... Cut first a little on the right off, so I don't have to cut the feet off. So yeah, now that fits. Okay. Now it does fit. Okay, let's smooch all the way around. So you have a nice finishing touch. This covers up a little bit, but it's now you still see uh, when you're opening it up. Now we're going to attach this one. And actually, it's really easy, but it used to be I was struggling all the time. So you don't have to put this all over. You just have to need an, a little piece right here. And I'm just going to eyeball this again. <laughs> and I'm grabbing my... Um, my bone folder <laughs> okay I'm just making a nice fold line and this is what I'm going to attach okay let's flip it over now okay we have some tape right here we can use so what I'm going to do, wait just a second, I'm going to peel this loose, not all the way, but a bit, okay, now, oh, this way there, this way, okay, I am pretty good on the white spot, and then I'm just squeezing this in, so it will stay right here. Yeah, and I can use some glue. Okay, now this we can be closed for just a minute. So it does not stick to your um, cutting mat. Alright, so I used a um, satin ribbon for the pink one, but I want to see how this looks. I'm going to use this one just to see how that looks if this stays as nice as ribbon I think it is but and the color really matches perfectly with these little uh, hearts Then we can close this down. Okay, this looks pretty nice too. Why not? Why not use this? I really like the color. The color is amazing. Yep, I will use this one. I like it. I like how it turns out. Cool. Okay, now to stop. I really don't know if this is going to tear or uh, split or anything. So you can make a little knob on the bottom. And then afterwards we can cut it down. Make it a little, a little knob on the end, just to secure 
oh I actually could have made a bead on but I don't it's really too thick I don't think you can put a bead on but you can if you like now I'm going to cut these off it will stay there I hope <laughs> All right, so this is how it looks. Really cool. Now the only thing we needed is make here something you like. And of course we can use some um, leftover pieces. So let's see what we have left. Um, I think I'm going to use this. Yep, this will fit nice. And then... A solid one for the for on top yep this fits also nice and perhaps a dark edge Let's see I do have a little one left yep like it okay so yeah that's real simple of course well i always say everything is simple but let's do it together with you i am still here okay let's cut this down on the right spot where you like it so all the edges are nicely all the way around all right then i'm going to um yeah what i'm going to do I'm going to make this one too, all the way around, with a nice edge. And then this one too, with a nice dark brown edge. There we go. Now you can use this or you can uh, cut these if you have, I don't know if you have that, you can cut these uh, with a corner punch to give it a little extra. But I don't know if you have this in your stash, but if you have, then you can use that. Now this paper is really thick, but it still works really works good I love it it's the same one as memory keepers has this is another brand I don't know what which brand it was a bit cheaper okay let's smooch the edges and let's glue these on each other And then your label, name tag, kind of a thing, <laughs> is ready. You can use um, two brads if you like. Give it another extra touch. Or put some of that crystals on. But we can do that later. I'm just going to see how this goes. I like, like, oh my gosh, I'm in love. I love it. Love, 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 love it, love it, love it, love it. I want to say, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Now, we are going to apply, see if you are straight, and I am. Now I'm going to apply this on the page. And then we have made two base page. There we 
go. Put enough glue on. You don't want this to come loose. Nicely all the way the edges. There we go. And what I like is to let this flat on the table. So I can move correctly. And here we go. I am good. Now I'm going to untie this and grab my bone folder and I'm really going to tuck the edges in all the way around so your glue is attaching everywhere. You don't want this to come loose. So that is for the edges and then I'm going to rub it in every spot I can I can reach rub that glue in and now for the final piece I have one card left and if it's if I did it correctly then this will fit perfectly Yes, it does. Okay. If it doesn't, it's really no big deal. You can cut this on the size. It will fit. So you can cut it loose. I only have this small edge left. So if you have, if you, if it, if it doesn't fit, you can cut it smaller. It's really no big deal. It isn't. So this will fit perfectly right here. So you don't see when you open this up and afterwards if you don't like this you still can add your picture in it for your baby but I don't know if you want that but you can you see and if this is close um, left right you don't see it so it will be totally a surprise that there is a picture underneath the waterfall oh my okay so left right left right left what? And then we close it up. Oh yeah, love it. So it's totally up to you uh, which uh, ribbon you're going to use. Of course, you can use your dark blue or your organza one, whatever you like. But I choose this one because the color matches perfectly with the with the little hearts. Alright, so what do you think? I love it. Yeah, I can't say it enough. Okay, so we have two major nice um, page pages. And okay, we can do some decoration on, but we, I'm going to save that for later to see if it's still fitting. A book. Uh, and a belly band thing, a triangle pocket, again some, uh, we have a large booklet which we still can add more in and uh, we have another um, nice waterfall, so yeah, okay, that's that, let's go at the other two pages just to see how nice it all sees together, guys, I'm in love, I'm in love, I am in love. Did I say I'm in love? Yes, I am. I am. I am. Cool. All right. So um, it's time to do the next step. And the next step, you're going to be amazed. Well, if you, I don't think that you are amazed because you already saw that, of course. <laughs> okay. But if you don't see that, then. For me, it's a new uh, thing that I'm going to try out, and so yeah, let's see how it all ends. Okay, <laughs> stay tuned for the next part. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> it was very, very comfortable. Bye-bye.